Hazard Identification and Risk Assessment, HERA. Hello everyone, welcome to Funny EHS Info, a learning platform for safety. In this session, we will discuss Hazard Identification and Risk Assessment, HERA. This process is an essential part of occupational health and safety management. By the end of this session, you'll have a clear understanding of how to conduct a systematic HERA and apply it effectively to create a safe working environment. What is a hazard? A hazard is anything that has the potential to cause harm. Hazards are categorized into different types. Let me give you some examples. Physical hazards like machinery, electricity or working at heights. Chemical hazards such as exposure to toxic substances or flammable materials. Biological hazards including viruses, bacteria or other harmful organisms. Ergonomic hazards like poorly designed workstations that lead to strain or injuries. It's crucial to identify these hazards early to prevent incidents and maintain workplace safety. What is risk? Let's now define risk. Risk refers to the chance that a hazard will cause harm and the severity of that harm. We calculate risk using a simple formula. Risk is equal to probability P multiplied with impact I. Probability measures how likely the hazard is to occur and impact reflects the severity of the consequences if it does occur. Together, these elements help us evaluate risk effectively. What is HERA? HERA, or Hazard Identification and Risk Assessment, is a structured approach. It involves three main actions. 1. Identifying hazards in the workplace. 2. Assessing the risks associated with these hazards. 3. Implementing controls to eliminate or reduce these risks. This approach ensures that safety measures are planned and effective. Steps of HERA Now, let's break down the steps of conducting a HERA. Step 1. Identify hazards and their effects. Begin by identifying potential hazards in your workplace. You can do this by Conducting workplace inspections Reviewing incident reports Performing job safety analysis. Next, determine the possible effects of these hazards on people, the environment and operations. Step 2. Eliminate hazards. Whenever feasible, remove the hazard entirely. For example, replace hazardous chemicals with safer alternatives. Step 3. Evaluate risks. Use the risk assessment matrix, RAM, to calculate the risk level. Assign scores for probability and impact to determine the overall risk. Step 4. Determine existing controls. Review the current safety measures in place and evaluate their effectiveness. Step 5. Implement additional controls. If the risk is still high, apply additional controls based on the hierarchy of controls, which includes Elimination Substitution Engineering controls Administrative controls Personal protective equipment, PPE Step 6. Assess residual risks After implementing controls, reassess the risks to ensure they are at an acceptable level. Step 7. Document and review Finally, record your findings in a HERA table Update the assessment as necessary and review it periodically. HERA Table Format and Explanation The HERA Table is a structured format to document hazards, assess risks and determine control measures. Below is the table followed by an explanation of each column. HSE Hazard Aspect This column identifies the hazard or aspect of the activity that poses a risk. Example, for excavation work, the hazard could be collapse of excavation walls. Effect impact. 
describes the potential effect or impact if the hazard materializes. Example, injury or fatality resulting from the collapse of excavation walls. Probability A. E. Assigns a letter A to E, representing the likelihood of the hazard occurring. Example, if a collapse is possible but not guaranteed, assign a score of C, possible. Consequence, 1 to 5. This column assigns a numerical score, 1 to 5, to the severity of the consequence. Example, a wall collapse causing a fatality is scored as 5, severe. Risk rating. The risk rating is the product of the consequence, 1 to 5, and probability, A to E, scores, indicating the overall level of risk. Example, consequence 5 multiplied by probability 3 is equal to 15, high risk. Action. High-risk activities require immediate mitigation measures before proceeding. Control measures Lists the existing or proposed controls to reduce the identified risk. Controls are based on the hierarchy of controls, elimination, substitution, engineering, administrative, PP. Example, shoring, daily inspections, restricting access. Residual risk Evaluates the risk after implementing all control measures. A new consequence and probability score are assigned to calculate the residual risk. Example, residual risk is equal to consequence 3 multiplied by probability 2 is equal to 6, medium risk. Recovery measures. Details contingency plans or recovery actions to address the hazard if it occurs despite controls. Example, Emergency response plan, including rescue procedures and first aid. What is a risk assessment matrix and how to use it? The risk assessment matrix is a tool that helps us determine risk levels. It works by combining the probability of an event and the severity of its impact. Let's break it down step by step. The matrix is a grid that combines probability of occurrence and impact of consequence to calculate a risk score. The rows represent probability, ranging from rare, 1, to almost certain, 5. The columns represent impact, ranging from negligible to severe. The matrix uses colors to highlight risk levels. Green, 1 to 6 low risk, acceptable, monitor as needed. Yellow. 7 to 12 moderate risk, take action to reduce the risk. Orange, 13 to 20 high risk, immediate action is required. Red, 21 to 25 extreme risk, stop work until the hazard is eliminated. Finally, remember that risk assessments are not a one-time process. Monitor activities continuously and update the matrix whenever conditions change. Using standards in HERA 1. ISO 45001 2018 Focus on occupational health and safety management systems and ensures risk assessments and controls are integrated into operational planning. 2. ANSI ASSP Z10 Focus on emphasizes the hierarchy of controls and worker involvement and prioritize engineering controls during excavation. Conclusion The HERA process is essential for identifying and mitigating workplace risks. By following the steps, using the risk assessment matrix and referencing safety standards, you can create a safer work environment. Regular reviews ensure continuous improvement and compliance. Thank you for your attention. Let's ensure that we think safe, act safe, and be safe in everything we do. This is all about today's topic. Thanks for watching Funny EHS Info. And don't forget to subscribe our channel to get immediate notification of our videos. Share our videos to your friends and colleagues to create safety awareness. If you have any questions and requirements, please comment in comment box.